The 2016 budget is the hottest topic of the week, both within and outside the National Assembly. I'm Linda Akibe, and you're welcome to the gavel. The 2016 budget is at the center of criticisms and disapproval from Nigerians and even federal lawmakers themselves. And with the announcement by the National Assembly that the 2016 budget has been padded by federal government ministries and is filled with errors, it is apparent that all is not well with the budget. Now let's hear from the National Assembly on this matter. In the last two weeks, government ministries, departments and agencies have been coming into the National Assembly to defend their 2016 budget proposals. The National Assembly had set a date of February 25th for the completion and passage of the 2016 budget. But the chairman of the National Assembly Appropriation Committees are saying that the February 25th date is no longer feasible for the passage of the budget. They say the budget defense sessions have revealed that some government MDAs are padding their budgets. As you are all aware, a lot of issues have uh, come up. Uh, gladly so, even the executive arm of government, uh, they've also come out to accept the fact that uh, there's been a lot of errors in the budget and uh, during the budget uh, defense a lot of issues of padding of the budget that has to do with uh, overhead uh, in some instances cases of uh, over bloated uh, uh, personnel the timetable date for the passage of the budget uh, is no longer realistic uh, because the appropriation committee of both chamber, we need sufficient or additional time to be able to sit and do a thorough cleanup uh, of the budget. Things must be done thoroughly, constitutionally, and all due processes must be followed. And that's why we don't want to produce a budget that will, throw, that will be thrown back to us, either because of difficulty in implementation or difficulty in trying to sort out some ambiguities. We want to remove all ambiguities. We want to remove all patterns. We want to produce a budget that is clean, that is in line with what the Constitution says. The chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Appropriation also said lawmakers observed that the 2016 budget is full of errors. We mentioned here that there's been a lot of disagreement even between the ministers and, of course, the civil servants. Everybody disowning uh, uh, the budget. And that is the reason why, when it comes down to the appropriation committee from the end of this week, we said we will take our time to do a very thorough job on the budget. The National Assembly has, however, not come out with a new date when the 2016 budget would be passed. The budget defense sessions are scheduled to end on Friday, 12th February. However, with the inconsistencies in the budget and the issues of budget padding, it appears that the 2016 budget may take a while before it is passed into law. During the week, the National Assembly had two interactive meetings with members of various civil society organizations. The major meeting had to do with the 2016 budget. This is the first time in a long while actually and the National Assembly is opening up the budgeting process to include input from civil society organizations. President Muhammadu Buhari just On Tuesday, December 22nd, 2015, President Muhammadu Buhari presented the first annual budget proposal of his administration. 
The president assured Nigerians that the 2016 budget would be a budget of change, which would revive the economy and ensure sustainable and inclusive growth. But from the time President Buhari presented the budget, the document has been plagued with crisis. The latest problem surrounding the budget is that the National Assembly is accusing federal government ministries, departments and agencies of padding the budget. This has pressured the National Assembly to postpone the February 25th date fixed for the passage of the budget. They have 17 items. Members of civil society organizations who met with the Senate President observed that there are several irregularities in the 2016 budget. The meeting is indeed critical because it is designed to enlist the inputs of the CSOs into the 2016 appropriation bill. This has become important given that the appropriation bill has passed through the second reading in the National Assembly after the debate on its general principles. Now looking at Federal Government College Biring Yaruri, they allocated 40 million to VIP toilets and bathrooms and the library and books and equipment, 2.8 million. Moving to the secondary schools, Federal Government College Azare, on their budget, they have two, two construction of 3,000 meters fencing. And the total for the two, when you add up the two, it's 216 million. So our question is, why would you have it on the budget twice? Somebody has just pointed out the issue in the Ministry of Education, for instance, where you have the same thing all through. Um, there are issues of, of, of how they even arrived at the costs that they, they allotted. Again, in education, you'd see, oh, uh, purchase of, say, recharge cards, for instance, and they'll say fuel purchase of this field. So is it different cars that are going to buy the thing? So there are a lot of concerns for me. Uh, some of your submissions, findings um, today would be part of a report that the Committee on Civil Society will present to the subcommittees so of the appropriation. So all the committees who are engaging with different ministries now will receive a summary of this report so that they can take into some of the observations. Reports of budget padding inconsistencies and errors in the 2016 budget does the country more harm than good, particularly at a time when the country is grappling with economic challenges as a result of falling oil prices.